Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to configure Ironclad's new signature feature that makes uploading, tagging and sending a document directly for a signature a breeze. Before we begin, we need to confirm that Ironclad signature is set up in our organization. This is essential for enabling workflows and giving permissions to users to send documents directly from signature from the dashboard. Now let's see how you as the admin can safely allow users to send directly for signature. With just a few clicks, you can turn on this feature for specific groups and users using the settings to tailor access levels to match your business needs. As an admin, you have the control to activate and toggle which groups and users have access to send documents directly for signature. You can also specify the record types assigned to control who launches a document for a signature and from where. Now let's see this in action. As a business user with permissions to upload a document directly for signature, I'll need to associate the contract to a specific record type. This works best for contracts that don't require approval, such as high volume transactional agreements, letters of intent, corporate compliance, and internal policy documents. Ironclad's intuitive interface simplifies the process, making it easy to upload, drag and drop tags, and send for signature in a matter of minutes, hassle-free. You can start sending documents directly with Ironclad signature right away, even as you refine the e-signature process in your other workflows. So, if a full workflow and approval configuration is not needed, think about enabling this feature to allow users to quickly upload, place signer tags, and send directly from their dashboard. It is great for ad hoc contracts that you need to get signed quickly with no negotiation and have all the rich metadata live within a single unified Ironclad repository.